Hey guys, it's Aria, and in this video, I'm going to share with you my key to stopping procrastination. I'm just going to say it right off the bat, and then I'm going to spend the rest of the video explaining it. So you want to physically write out a schedule with specific things to do at very specific times, block them off on your schedule like they are plans, and reward yourself at the end. And that last part is key. I'm just gonna make up a fake schedule for someone. So let's say it's Friday, you just got home from school, and this is your homework for the weekend, I wrote it out. So for chemistry, you have a six page outline and four review problems. For math, you have an LTA, long-term assignment, whatever your school calls it, that has three like calculus problems. For biology, you have a test on Tuesday. English, you have a one page paper due on Tuesday. And French, you have a vocab quiz coming up on Monday. Every day after school, and including Fridays, I know that's where a lot of people slip up because it's Friday, you just wanna chill, be done, it's been a long week. You have to plan out your schedule if you want this to work. Write out all of the homework assignments that you have, just like I did, and approximate, it's okay if it's slightly off, how much time each one's gonna take you. So for me, all of the assignments I said, the chemistry I said would take about an hour and a half, the math about an hour and a half, biology an hour and a half, English also an hour and a half, and then French about 40 minutes. The next thing you wanna do is block off any time that you already have plans. So going back to my fake schedule, it's the weekend, right? So Friday, let's say from 7 to 10, you're going out to dinner with your friends. Saturday morning from 10 to 12 in the morning, you have soccer practice, and then six to nine, you're meeting up with friends again in the evening. And then Sunday morning you from nine to 11, you have church or family commitment or something like that where you can't be doing work. So now you know that time is gone. If you've blocked off all of the plans you've made and now you're looking at your homework and you feel like it's a lot, don't make any more plans for the weekend. Then just start scheduling your homework now. A little bit of stress is a good thing because that'll help with procrastination, but obviously you don't wanna feel like overwhelmed. So obviously the hard part is figuring out how to schedule your homework and how you'll actually stick with it. And this just takes practice. You have to do it in a way that works for you. For me, I like to leave Sunday night as a way to just watch TV, relax, not have anything to stress about before the long week. So that's kind of like my reward that I talked about at the end of the week. But you have to figure out what you, what you want your reward to be and how that's gonna work for you. I know a lot of people also use little incentives after completing each assignment, such as candy or something like that. That's up to you if you wanna do it that way. I never do, I like to have one big reward at the end, but again, you have to figure out what works for you. So now going back to my fake schedule, I personally like to get busy assignments out of the way very early in the weekend so I don't have to worry about them because usually they're relatively easy and they just take up a lot of time. So for me, the chemistry, the, what was it? It was like a six page outline and four review problems. I would knock that out Friday after school before going out with my friends. So maybe from like 3.30 to five, I'd get that done. And to make this work, keep thinking about that reward. Get it done now so you don't have to be stressing at the last minute Sunday night when you could be watching TV, relaxing, hanging out with your friends and family. So block off that time from 3.30 to 5 for chemistry. Make it like a plan that you can't move around. Make it like soccer practice. It's something that you have to do. And like save that time solely devoted to doing the work. The next thing to do, at least in my opinion, would be the math LTA because this is another kind of busy assignment. You're not really studying for anything. You could probably get it done faster than studying for a test or a quiz. So that I would do Saturday morning after soccer practice was like from 10 to 12. So maybe after lunch at like one, one to 2.30 or three. Now I know I said that most of these assignments will probably take, would take me like an hour and a half or I'm just making that up right now. Um, but I always like to schedule it in if something's like an hour and a half or two hours because like let's be real we all get distracted and I get that it's totally fine everyone does um, if like your phone or something is really distracting you I always just if it's really bothering me I put it downstairs in the kitchen or like on a table downstairs um, so that it's completely out of my reach until I finish my assignment and you might think that you'll go up and get it But you probably won't because we're all lazy um, So that's what I would do if you're really finding something distracting So then the math LTA is done at around 3 so then from 3 to 3 30 give yourself a break You might want to give yourself a little bit little bit of a break in between assignments so You're not cramming them all in in one day 
Um, and then from 3.30 to 4, I said the French course would probably take about 40 minutes to study for, so I'd probably spend a half an hour from 3.30 to 4 on Saturday reviewing for that, making flashcards, however you want to study. And then Sunday, you probably only have to spend about 10 minutes reviewing. So now it's Sunday. And this is the time you really want to get everything done in the morning if your goal is to have Sunday night to relax. So I said from like 9 to 11 you have some sort of family commitment. So then again, maybe starting at 12, give yourself an hour break um, after whatever your commitment is before you start your work. So from 12 to 2, get that English paper done. Again, I give yourself an extra half an hour because of distractions or whatever. Then maybe you want to give yourself a break from 2 to 3 just to like eat or chill or do whatever you want. Um, and then you have a biology test on Tuesday. Now, I know it's on Tuesday, but guys, if at least in my opinion, and this is another thing with procrastination, if you start studying over the weekend, then you have Monday to ask your teachers questions, anything like that, and then Tuesday, or sorry, then Monday night, you don't have to spend as much time freaking out about it. So Sunday, I'd probably break up studying into two sections, maybe from like three to four, I'd study for an hour, and then four to like 4.15, review for that French quiz again, and then from 4.30 to 5.30, you can maybe study for another hour, and then you're done. You've reached your goal, all your homework is done by 5.30, then you have from like 5.30 till whenever you wanna to go to bed to relax and watch TV, hang out with your friends and family. So hopefully you guys saw here that the key was setting a goal, which in this case I made relaxing Sunday night and then planning everything out at specific times and blocking it off like it's a plan you cannot change like it's a practice or some sort of commitment that you have to be at and you have to do that and get it done um, all with rewarding yourself at the end. A lot of people think that they're planning their schedule out by saying, oh, I'll do one of my homework assignments Saturday afternoon. But instead of doing that, because that's so vague and you'll never hold yourself accountable, trust me, I'm so guilty of that before, um, plan out which assignment you're going to do and what time Saturday afternoon you're going to do it. And this was just a fake schedule I made up with fake assignments. Like, obviously... This isn't how it's going to work every single time, but you get the point. Make a schedule, block it off, plan everything. So that is just my way to avoid procrastination. I've been using this method for years and I think it really works for me. It's obviously not going to work for everyone, but if you like this video or found it helpful, give it a thumbs up and like and subscribe for more content in the future.